Hey guys. Good evening. How's it going? Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening, Nuri, Alejandra. How are you? How was uh, how was your weekend? Pretty good. Pretty good. Did you go out? Yeah, did actually, yeah. Nice. Where? Where did you go? I went to a restaurant, like a ramen restaurant. A ramen restaurant? Uh, yeah, the one that is that I don't remember what it's called. A uh, kairu, I think it's called. So it's a um, it's a Japanese restaurant. Oh yeah, yeah, Japanese cuisine. That's great. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, All it right. is. All right, very good, very good. I've uh, never heard of that place, but it's awesome. Um, Nori, what about you, Nori? How was your weekend? Me, I went in a party. You went to a party. What, what party did you go to? Yeah, on Saturday. On Saturday? Nice. Did you dance? Star House. Yeah. All right. Very good. good mm, yes, a little bit. <laughs> nice, nice. All right. Alberto. Hello, Alberto. I like to dance. I didn't know that. All right. That's interesting. What about you, Alberto? How was your weekend? I think your mic, uh, if you're there, your microphone isn't working, okay? All right. Oh, uh, hello. Yes, I, I, I think so. Uh, there you go. You were happy. Uh, yeah, us. it was good. I mean, it was like kind of heavy because it was already I had a meeting, all my work, almost already. And on Sunday, I had a meeting with my family almost all day as well. So at the night, I had to do some stuff from work. And all of a sudden, I got at, I got a bit like, 11 p.m. and then I had to wake up earlier today so it was like a busy weekend at the end but it was good what about yours? No, it was good it was good uh, well I actually had to take care of my mom because um, she came out from the hospital so um, so yeah I had I had a busy weekend um, anyways I, I'm glad to see you guys uh, Jenny how's it going Jenny? Hi. Good evening. Good evening. So, how was how was your work today? Busy. Every day is very very busy. 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 Yeah. Yes. yes. Very good. Well, I'm glad. Um, I'm glad to have you here. Uh, Maylin, welcome. Uh, Katty, <laughs> Katty, welcome. All right, guys. Let's get started. Okay. All right. Everybody, just turn on your cameras, guys. Um, all right, so today, guys, we're going to talk about the second part of the first, uh, uh, the second part of the first section on the platform, okay? Which is, guys, describing problems with need and keep, okay? So these are two words that we can use to describe problems as well, all right? All right, let's do a quick recap of what we saw last time. All right, so uh, so how else can we describe problems? What else can we use to describe problems? Do you remember? David, welcome, David. Nice seeing you. So, um, so who remembers, guys? What else we can use to describe problems? Past participles. Past participles, okay. What else? With nouns. Uh, you can use, okay, you can use nouns, okay. All right, you can use, all right, so you can use past participles as adjectives, right? And you can use nouns as well, okay? Very good, guys. So, in today's agenda, guys, we're going to go over, you know, uh, what gerunds are, what passive infinitives are. We're going to go over uh, the description of problems with keep and need okay 
Um, and we're also going to have some practice at the end, right? So that's uh, today's agenda, right? So um, who would like to help me read the objective, guys? Remember, guys, to turn on your cameras, okay? Uh, so who would like to help me read the objective? At the end of this lesson, these sections, participants will learn to use and comprehend the use of keep and need with gerunds. We we'll also be able to practice need plus passive uh, infinitives. Very good, guys. Okay, so pretty much, guys, understanding you know what, how to use keep and need with gerunds, and also how to use need plus passive infinitives. Okay, so what's a gerund, guys? Question for you. What's what's a gerund? A and G. A verb in IG. Mm, are you 100% sure? Can we bet? Can we bet $100 to it? Can be a verb or a noun. Mm, okay, so wait. So what's a gerund? Okay, so. All right, so you say, okay, so you say that it's ING. This is what, this was your answer. Okay, so answer number one. You say, you guys say it's ing, okay? You say that that's, that's a verb, right? That's a verb. verb or, or noun. It's a verb or noun, okay. All right, I like these answers, okay, very good. Number three, all right, so uh, what else, guys? What else do you think a gerund is? Let me ask you something, guys. So, what if I, <clears throat> what if I said, what if I said, uh, I am, um, you know what? Hold on. Yeah. Uh, he is painting. Okay, so he's painting the house. Okay. So if I said he's painting the house. Is this uh is this a gerund? What do you think? Is this a would yes. this be a gerund? Yes or no? Yes. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, in, in this case, it's present continuous. Okay, very good, David. Okay, all uh, right. It's nice that you pointed that out because that's exactly the point I wanted to get at, guys. Okay. Guys, okay. all right. So all, all right. So this is number three, guys. Okay, this is actually the, the finish. Okay, so all gerunds work as a noun guys okay do not forget this okay so in this case guys if i say he's painting the house am i considering painting guys i'm sorry painting right like this all right so is painting a noun yes or no yes no no it is a continuous action okay if it is a continuous action guys this is not a gerund, okay? If it is a continuous action, this is a present present, present participle, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Which is also, you know, present progressive, right? Got it, guys? So what if I said, guys, what, do you, what if I say painting, okay? Painting is fun, okay? So painting is fun. Now, is this a, is this a gerund or is this a present participle? It's a gerund. This is a gerund, guys, because guess what? You could say, you could say what? Cheyenne. Cheyenne, Cheyenne exactly, right? So you could say Cheyenne is fun. Got it? You could substitute it for a noun. Does that make sense? All right. So, okay, so, so there is a difference, guys, between a gerund and a present participle, okay? All right. So remember, guys, a noun, we, we have to talk about something else here, okay? So, so Jaron, guys, right? So let's join your ideas together, okay? So uh, Jaron, uh, according to what you said, guys, all right, let's, let's, let's come up with a definition of a Jaron, okay? A Jaron is a, a Jaron is a what? 
Everybody, okay? A, Give me the definition. A gerund is a what? It's a word. It's a word ending in ing. Okay, a gerund is a verb. Now. It's a verb. Okay. A gerund is a verb. And that ends, right? That ends in ing. I like the, the, uh, the ending of your explanation, okay? That works as a noun, okay? Beautiful, guys, okay? A gerund is a verb that ends in ing that works as a noun, okay? So now, guys, if it ends, as an, if it ends you know, if it is a noun, guys, all right, there are two things to remember here, okay? So, um, so now, guys, can be the subject, and it can also be the object, right? Object. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so you can say, guys, right? You can say, for example, uh, you can say... I don't know. Uh, oh, yeah. Playing, right? Playing video games. Video games is amazing, right? Mm -hmm. You could say this, right? Or you could say, right? So now, guys, if you think about it, okay, this playing video, play, playing video games, guys, is the whole. Um, is this is the whole uh, subject phrase? Okay. Oops. All right. So this is the subject. Okay. So why is that the subject, guys? Because Cheyenne, right? All right, because you you can substitute it with, with Cheyenne. Cheyenne is amazing, right? Playing video games is amazing, right? So this is working as part of the whole subject, okay? So it's a gerund, right? So you know this is a gerund because of that, right? Excuse my handwriting, guys. Hold on. Let me change that. Okay, so you know. This would be a gerund because of that, right? Gerund, right? Now, what about, what about, uh, hey, what about this? Um, what about that? Is that a gerund? Or is that a prison participle? Is it it's the object? Yeah, it is an adjective, but it's an adjective that's also a gerund, guys, okay? Because if it works as the object of the sentence, all right, then it's a gerund. Got it? All right. You can also say, guys, you can say, all right, in the side of the object, you can say, um, it's, you know, it's amazing. Oh, hold on. Let's give that example. Um, oh, you can say, I like playing video games, all right? So now, these guys, is this, uh, is this a gerund? What do you think? Yes or no? I like playing video games. No. Why not? Yes, it's a gerund. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, guys. Okay, you have... The subject, okay, I is the subject, right? Subject. And then we have a linking verb here, right? Whatever, linking, right? And then we have plain, which is the object, right, of the verb like, right? So the object, guys, right, this is working as a noun. And if it is working as a noun, then it is a gerund, right? Got it? Because why, guys? Because instead of saying, I like playing video games, you could say, Cheyenne. You could say Cheyenne, right? You could substitute it for another noun, right? You could substitute it for Cheyenne and it will still make sense. Got it? All right. So that's what a gerund is, guys. Okay. If I say, guys, I am playing basketball. Is this a gerund? Yes or no? Quickly, guys. No. No, right? This is a continuous action. So that is a present participle. Okay. All right. So just so you understand, guys, quick review, right? A gerund, guys, will either work as the object, as the subject, or the object of a sentence, okay? That's how you can identify a gerund, got it? So far, so good, guys? All right, we're okay. good. So next step, guys, we have some examples, right? So um, every verb, every verb, guys, that exists can be turned into a gerund, right? If you notice, guys, all right, thinking, playing, 
painting, eating, right? They're all gerunds. Why? Because, I mean, they all work as gerunds, depending, right? It depends, okay? They can be present participles as gerunds, depending how they work. But they're always, guys, going to have ing at the end, okay? Always, all right? So, for example, guys, if I say, guys, carefully painting the fence, okay? All right? We're not going to talk about properties, guys, okay? But, um, but... But just so you know, okay, we can use an adverb to modify gerunds because there, there's one thing that you have to notice, guys. An adverb never modifies a verb. I'm sorry, it never modifies a noun, okay? But since gerunds, guys, come from verbs, all right, they can be modified, all right? But we're not going to go over that, guys, okay? We're not going to go over that today, all right? I just FYI, okay? Now, guys, the other thing that we have to know today is what a passive infinitive is. First of all, guys, what is an infinitive? Who can tell me what an infinitive is? Remembers. It's a verb um, that is before a two. They were two. I don't know. Okay. All right. Let me ask you guys. Okay, I'm gonna ask the people with the cameras turned off. Now, can I cut the All right. So, can you give me an example of an infinitive? Do you remember what? Do you remember what an infinitive is? Uh, Kathy, you're, you're muted. I think you're muted. To give. The what? To give. To give. Okay, very good. To give. Very good. What else is an infinitive, Ilda? What else is an infinitive, Ilda? Uh, the, the give. Okay. No, no, an infinitive, oh. okay? Another example ah, of an infinitive. Another yes. example, okay. Uh, to run, the run, the... To run, okay, uh -huh. very good. Yes. So that will be to run, okay. Um, you see, ID, <laughs> Haiti. What's another example of an infinitive? No. To know, right? So, guys, no. an infinitive, guys, is that combination of the base form of the verb preceded by the... Preposition to, okay, to give, to run, to know, etc. Got it? So that is an infinitive, okay? So now, um, what is a passive infinitive, guys? Have you ever heard about a passive infinitive? What is that? Let's talk about a passive infinitive. What do you think this is? The person who received the action. The person who receives the action? Okay. Uh, any other ideas, guys? What, what is? Let me ask you, Kate. Let, let's let's uh, let's backtrack a little bit. So, what is a passive? Do you remember past participles? What's a past participle? The. the... The action that the start and finish at the same time. All right, very good. I'll give you an example, guys. To be born, okay? To be uh, to be loved. To be um, to be to be seen. To be known. All right, a passing infinitive, guys, is the combination of the verb be plus a past participle, okay? What is a passive infinitive, guys? Dimension. The combination of the verb be plus past participle, okay? So that is a passive infinitive, guys, right? Now, what is the past of the verb be, guys? Alejandra, what is the, give me the past of the verb be for singular nouns. The past for singular nouns. Yeah, the past of the verb be for singular nouns. Was? All right, the past of the verb be for singular nouns. Mm -hmm. Like, I do mean like I was? Yes, exactly. You were? Good. Exactly, okay, guys. All right, was, all right, was, thank you very much, okay? So that's, guys, was, 
and and where, right? So remember, I said, guys, a passive infinitive is the combination of the verb be plus the past participle form of a verb, right? So, guys, can I say was born? Can I say this? Yes. Yes. Okay. Can I, I say? All right. So let's say he was born. They they was or they were. Where? They were loved. Okay. Okay. Uh, you could even use it in you know different tenses. Okay. They have been sin. All right. So that's talking in a present form, okay? So a passive infinitive, guys, is just the verb be plus the past participle of a verb. Simple, right? Any questions so far? All right, so so far, guys, you should know two things, okay? There are two things that we have learned so far. The first thing, guys, all right, you should know, guys, what is a gerund, okay? So what a gerund is. All right, number two, guys, what is a passive infinitive, okay? So. Real quick, okay. Uh, Rafael Garcia, what's a gerund? A uh, gerund is a verb that ends in ing that works as a noun. Very good. Uh, Rafael Mayen, what is a passive infinitive? Is the base form plus two. The base no. form of a verb. No, 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 no. A no. passive infinitive, the, the verb be plus past participle. Very good, okay? The verb be plus plus participle. Good job, guys, okay? High five to you, okay? All right, so there is an example, guys, of a passive infinitive, okay? All right, so um, Santos, could you please help me read the example number one? This one right here. Okay. It, it is believed that the company will enlarge. Very good, okay? So now, notice something, guys, okay? Do we have the verb be somewhere here, guys? Can you find this, the verb be, yes or no? Over here, can we find, can we see, guys? Yes. The verb be here? Yes, yes. Please. Very good, okay? So the verb be is here, okay? So we have the verb be, right? And do we have a past participle? Hmm. Yes, right? So PP, right? PP will be past participle, see? Uh, verb be, guys, and past participle again. All right, so this is a past, a passive infinitive. Okay, sounds good. All right, we'll give more, we'll, we'll get uh, to more examples. Okay, now, guys, how can we use the passive infinitives to describe problems? Okay, uh, let's see, Marcos, could you please help me read example number one? Yes. Everything keeps burning. Okay, now take a look at this. All right, so we have guys. Note, I want you guys to uh, remember this word, keep, okay? All right, because we're gonna use that guys. Uh, we're gonna use that in the practice, okay? So we're using guys, the verb uh, keep guys plus, what is that? That's a gerund, guys, okay? Uh, gerund. All right. Everything keeps burning, everything keeps going on, okay? So the meaning of that, guys, is that uh, something is, you know, that cannot stop doing another action, okay? All right, so the, so the, uh, the structure, guys, is keep plus a gerund, okay? Now take a look at the other example. Let's talk about need, all right? What do we have under a need? Uh, Malin, could you please help us read? The oven? Over the here. oven need? The oven needs. The oven needs adjusting? No, oh, all right, let's repeat. The oven needs the, adjusting. The oven needs adjusting. Very good, okay. All right, very good. So the oven needs adjusting, guys, see? So we can also, guys, use needs plus a gerund, okay? Now, what if I, what if, if we were not talking about the oven, guys, but what if we were talking about the ovens? Will we say the oven, the ovens needs or the ovens need? 
the oven need? All right, the ovens need, right? So the only reason, guys, why we're saying needs here is because the subject here is working in third person, okay? All right. So now this is how you describe a problem. For example, guys, all right, um, think about it like this, okay? When you skip, guys, you're talking about the problem, okay? All right, when you use need, you're talking about the solution. Got it? So it's the problem and the solution, guys, okay? We use skips to talk about the problem itself and we use needs to talk about the solution, okay? Now, check this out, right? So we can also, guys, use need plus a passive infinitive, all right? To talk about a solution too, okay? So, solution, all right? So these two things, guys, all right, they are the same thing. They mean the same, all right? They mean the same thing, guys, okay? So you can either use one or the other one. Got it? All right. All right, very good, guys. I'm gonna give you more examples later, okay? Uh, questions here, guys. If you don't have questions, I will ask you some questions, okay? All right, I have some, I have some questions for you then, okay? Question number one, guys. All right, I'm gonna ask guys, the last person to turn on the camera, okay? You got five seconds to turn on the cameras. If not, you're gonna be the one person I'm gonna ask, okay? So five, four, three, two, one. All right, there you go. <laughs> last person, okay. Jose Chicas, let me ask you something, Jose Chicas. Can I use, can I use these, um, can I describe problems using need and keep in a different tense, yes or no? There you go. So uh, can I, yes or no? Yes. Yes, guys. All right, thank you, Oli. <laughs> thank you, okay, so, uh, so yes, guys, okay, so I can say, guys, I can say instead of saying uh, keep burning everything, I can say everything will keep burning, all right? So I could say this, or I could say, you know, everything, what is the past, what is the past tense of keep, guys? Kept, okay, everything kept burning, okay? So you can use, guys, you can use this in multiple tenses, okay? All right, guys, do me a favor. I'll give you one minute, guys, to write down the structure if you don't have it written down in your notebook, okay? So you got the structure in front of you right now, all right? Then you guys are gonna give me examples. So this is the structure of them three guys okay so keep plus adjourn or need plus adjourn or need plus a passive passive infinitive right Maybe. tell me may i say uh, the the glass keeps uh, leaking uh, the soda yeah you can say that the, the glass keeps leaking the soda Actually, I do have an exercise, guys, where you're going to think about your problems in your house, okay? And I'm not talking about el toxic or la toxica, right? I mean, I don't want to hear examples like el toxico keeps cheating Why? on me. Why? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a good example, right? All right. You can say el toxico, right? That's his real name, keeps cheating on me, right? So that's a problem, right? That's you're describing, okay? So if this is the problem, guys, what would be the solution? <laughs> you can say la toxica, right? La toxica needs, right? Needs. To be dumped. Actually, hold on, I, I, we need to change the okay? <laughs> El toxico, right? Because he would be the one receiving the actual toxico. Needs, um, needs some kicking in the butt, okay? All right, uh, something like that, right? So, all right, so see you guys, okay, you're describing a problem 
and you're you're offering a solution, right? A very violent solution, but you're offering a solution, right? So see, that's exactly what we use this for, okay? Do me a favor, guys. I'm going to ask everybody for examples right now. I want everybody, guys, everybody to grab your notebooks and a pen and you are... I need, guys, three examples with heap plus gerunds in your notebook, guys. I need three examples with need plus a gerund. Remember, guys, what is the difference between keeping a gerund and need plus a gerund? Problem the solution. Very good. Okay, so this is the problem. Very good, right? This is the problem and this is the solution, okay? And number three, guys, I need an example, three examples of need plus a passive infinitive, all right? Let's go, guys. Give me three examples, and I'm going to be asking everybody right now about uh, for one example, okay? All right, so let's start with Jenny. Hello, Jenny. Give me one example with... Uh, Keep plus a gerund. Uh, the car keeps fixing the window. Okay, hold on. So, I'm sorry, the, the what? The car. The car? Uh-huh. Uh, mm -hmm. Keep? The car, the car keeps, remember, the car mm -hmm. is third person, right? Okay, the car keeps fixing. Keeps fixing. Mm -hmm. The window. The window. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna draw I'm gonna draw you guys. You have to make sense of what you said. Good, good. I mean it is grammatically correct, okay? But guys, one thing I'm gonna recommend you something. If something is grammatically correct, guys, it also has to make sense in the context, okay? Because although this is grammatically correct, guys, this is what you're saying, okay? All right, I'm gonna try to do my best representation, guys, of what you are explaining so far okay so you have you say that the car right so the car keeps fixing the window okay so you have you have uh i don't know okay so you have you have mr car here <laughs> okay so you have mr car here right and mr car ex is fixing some windows right so there is a window here, right? So this is what you're saying. The car keeps fixing the window, right? It's like <laughs> the car is, all right, so this is grammatically correct, but this is what you're saying. Does that make sense? No, right? I mean, if it is a cartoon, yes, it makes sense, right? But other than that, it doesn't. So you have to make sure that, you know, that it, that the idea makes sense, right? <laughs> It's Got possible it. uh, because the windows. <laughs> so the car keeps, keeps fixing the window is yeah. fine if, In you know, if, if, <laughs> if it is a cartoon, okay? All right, so thank you very much. All right, let's change that example. Uh, it's next, Bumblebee. Bumblebee. Yeah, there you go. All right, if yeah, it is Bumblebee. Is Bumblebee. If it is Bumblebee, it also makes sense, right? Nuri. All right, Nuri, give me another example, Nuri. Hi, teacher. Um, my car keeps. Stop. Why are you talking about cars? Talk about something else. <laughs> my car keeps. <laughs> okay, my computer. My computer, right? Uh -huh. My computer keeps. Keeps. Uh, without internet. Remember, we need keep plus a gerund. Keep Ah, okay, okay. It's the keeps um, turning off. Crashing. What? All right, keep, keeps turning off, okay? You can mm -hmm. say keeps turning off, okay? Turning off. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, so keeps turning off, right? Or I was going to say keeps crashing, okay? Very good. <laughs> um, let's see, Alejandra, give me one of your examples with need plus a passive infinitive. Let me think about it because I haven't wrote this. <laughs> Okay, all right. Do you have one that is, do you have another one? Yeah, I have with keep. Uh, she keeps running into trouble. All right, so she keeps running into 
trouble. Very good, okay. Uh, good job. Marcos, let's go. Give me your example, Marcos. Barcelona keeps losing games. I'm sorry, what? Barcelona keeps losing games. Okay. Matches. Barcelona keeps <laughs> losing games. Okay, guys, by the way, all right. In America, guys, nobody says nobody says matches, okay? In, in, I'm talking about the United States, okay? All right, so in America, guys, people say games, okay? In the UK, okay. people say matches, only in the UK or like Europe, okay? Very good. Um, what else? Uh, let's see, Oli. All right, Oli, you, do you have your example? Uh, my baby keeps... My baby keeps grates or grates. Grates. Es llorando. Uh, my, my baby keeps crying. Yes. All right. Very good. Good job. Hey, I need, I uh, very good. Thank you very much. Do you have them in your notebook? I need a yes. total of nine examples in your, in your notebook, guys. Okay. So please write yes. them now. Thank you very much, Oli. All right. Next one. Um, Alberto, all right, give me your example, Alberto. Oh, the neighbors keep gossiping about me. Their neighbors keep gossiping, gossiping about me. Very good. All right, uh, David. Go on, David. Um, okay, guys, can, can somebody give me, uh, David, do you have an example of a passive plus, of need plus passive infinitive? Um, what? Sorry. Do you have an example of me plus a passive infinitive? Yes, I have. Uh, yes, I do. Our economy needs to be stable. Our economy needs to be stable. N not stable. really. With no. Oh, stable like that. Stable. Uh -huh. No. Then that would be all right. That would be like this. Stabilized. Okay. Stabilized, uh -huh. okay. Our economy needs to be stabilized. All right. Me Very too. Uh, uh, go ahead. Who's whoever said me too? <laughs> Oli, do you want to give me an example? Another example? No, uh, it's me too. Me too. Oh, Oli, okay. <laughs> okay. Right, yeah. Yeah. Economy. Got you. Got you. Got you. Okay. All right, uh, Rafael Garcia, give me your example, Rafa. I, I For, need a uh, need plus a passive infinitive. It could be what you need is drunks a soda. Okay, what you need, need is. is now, drunk. although, okay, no, that would be incorrect. You would need to say something like what you need is drinking soda. Drink. Okay, this is how you need to do it. Okay. But no, remember, need plus a gerund, okay? You're saying need plus is. I don't want need plus is. I need need plus a gerund, plus a, actually pass it infinity but, now, okay? But, uh -huh. Okay. So think about your example, Rafael. I'm going to ask you again, okay? Rafael, my end. I have one. Uh, the, the wife, the wife, the Wi-Fi needs to be upgraded. Very good. All right. The Wi-Fi needs, needs to, be to be upgraded. upgraded. Good job. All right, very good. Uh, Santos. Um, well, I made my wallet uh, keeps ripping. My wallet keeps ripping. Uh, okay. The other. My my wallet needs a uh, sewing. <laughs> my my wallet needs what? Sewing, like. Uh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, is it sewing or sewing? Sewing, okay. Ah, okay. My wallet sewing. needs. All right, sewing. All right, and my money. My wallet needs money, man. Anyways, right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, very good. Good job, thank you, Santos. Um, let's see, Hilda. Give me one of your examples, Hilda. Um, the 
Would they keep a magic margin? Uh, yeah, you can give me one. Okay. Um, I have the three examples. The, the, my car tire needs, needs fixing. My car tire needs fixing. Fixing. All right. And another good. example is my cell phone keep freezing all time. My cell phone keeps freezing all the all time. time. All and the time. Another, another example is that the walls of my house need to be painted. The walls in my house need to be painted. Not paint, painted, okay? Yes. Or painted. Painted. Okay. Very good. All right, very good. I like that. Okay. All right. Uh, Kathy Carranza, right? Kathy, give me an example with a gerund plus, I mean, need plus a gerund. This one right here. He needs drinking a lot of water. He needs. All right. He needs drinking. A lot now, of water. Mm. Now, this, this would be correct, guys. Uh, when you see it like this, you would need to say he needs yeah. to drink. Okay, so no, this example is not correct. Um, because needs, in this case, guys, is working as a is working as a stative verb, okay? So you need to, to, to think about it like a problem. Think about a problem, okay? Think about a machine. Think about maybe, oh. let's talk about your bed, okay? Uh, my bed, let's say my bed, my bed and then needs, needs what? What is the past participle of, what is the past participle of clean guys? Clean. Okay, you can say needs to be clean or you can clean. say needs cleaning, right? My bed needs cleaning, all right? Very good. Uh, thank you very much. Let's see. Rodrigo Gonzalez, give me your example, Rodrigo. I uh, I need change uh, my refrigerator. No, I need to change my refrigerator is not correct. Okay, you need to follow the structure. Need plus a gerund. Okay, or need plus. A passive infinitive. Okay, so think about your example and I'll ask you again. Haiti, give me your example, Haiti. Uh, you, I think you're muted, Haiti. Okay, okay. There you go. My uh, phone keeps going off. My phone, right? My phone keeps going off. Okay, good job. All right, I think that's everybody. Is there anybody missing, guys? Everybody, did everybody participate? All right, very good. So, very good guys, okay? All right, any questions so far, guys? All right, so no. now, one other thing to point out, guys, remember we, we used to talk about problems and solutions, right? But if you put it into perspective, we also, I mean, we're, we're talking about a repetitive action, right? So when we use keep guys, we're talking about a repetitive action, you know? Something that continues, a continuous action, okay? So um, let me ask you something, guys. In these two examples, do they mean the same thing, yes or no? Is saying that chair needs fixing the same as saying the chair needs to be fixed. Is that the same thing? Yes. 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 yes, guys. Okay. So the only thing that we have here, guys, we have two solutions, right? The first solution is with mm -hmm. a gerund and the second solution with a passive infinitive. Okay. All right. So I will be sending you some exercises right now to the WhatsApp group, guys, and I'll get you together. You complete them. And then after you finish, there is a conversation topic. Okay. But I guess you'll have You'll, you'll have enough exercises, you know, for the rest of the hour. Um, do we have any question whatsoever, guys, about this topic? Are we good? Are we good? All right, very good. So um, let me get you together, guys. Take a look at the WhatsApp group, guys. And that's where you, you'll get the exercise, okay? All right.
So let's join, guys. So I opened the breakout sessions, guys. Oh, I didn't. I'm sorry. Let's go now. <laughs> now you can join. Guys, let's join the breakout sessions, okay? Guys, se tienen que ir a los a los breakout sessions, a los breakout rooms. I'm sorry. Oh, Jenny, hold on. Oh, I forgot. Six. What's up, Frank? Um, Jenny's joining here. Uh, Jenny, Jenny's joining your room. Um, I just sent her over here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I know. That was weird. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Jenny. Welcome. I forgot that you have two devices. Yeah. <laughs> I I have in the from one. And I. Y ahora estoy en el seis. All right, very good, very good. No Spanish, all right? Let's okay, practice, guys, thank you. Okay. It's freezing. Which one, sorry? It keeps freezing. Rising yeah. in the case. I think yes, both. Hi, <laughs> David. Hey, man, any questions? Can, yes, can be multiple correct answers. Could it, it be could be more than, answers? It could be more than one answer. It has to be yes, exactly one answer. It has to be one answer because the other answers don't really make sense, right? I mean, some of them do, guys, but they make more sense to one exercise than to other ones, to the other ones, okay? So, okay. so you could say, you know, you could say my computer is driving me crazy. It keeps freezing. Or you could say it keep, uh, but if you say, you could say jamming, but if you notice, keep jamming yes, is wrong it's bad, because bad. it's not in third person. Yeah. Got it? So, so no, it's only one answer. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Yes. Okay. The other one. Number five. Uh, no, number six. Six. Yes. Number, Number five. <laughs> no. Okay. Something can, can we just kiss over? Is keep breaking down. And then number six. And then my computer is screen need to be replaced. It right now. Yeah. All right. Yes. yes. I don't know, maybe. Um... How are we doing, guys? You should share your screen, by the way.
your camera. Yeah. Sorry, I have some problems. Are you working together, girls? Uh, I was not too sure about what we were supposed to do. So uh, you are in the WhatsApp group, right? Oh yeah, I did the exercises, but I didn't know that we have to do it in, like in pairs. Oh, in couples, okay. Great. Yeah. So after, okay, so so yes. Uh, Heidi, are you there? Yeah, teacher. Okay, so the uh, if you finish the exercises, then there is a, there is a speaking exercise at the end, okay? So if you're done, I needed to start working on the last part, okay, which is the the oral exercise, okay? Okay. All right. Thank you, girls. Beautiful Spanish. Thank you for teaching us Spanish, Jennifer. Yeah, teacher. <laughs> but it's very, very difficult to speak English. I, I can't. That's because you keep speaking Spanish. <laughs> if you keep speaking Spanish, you're not gonna. It's always gonna be difficult, right? <laughs> so practice, practice, practice. All right. You need to force your brain. <laughs> okay. Thank you, teach. Ese va a ser mi, mi deseo, porque créanme ya. A esta hora a veces siento que ya no doy. Keep trying. I know that, okay. that you're good. Okay. 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 All right. Okay, Francisco, number four. Our new flat screen TV. So we are done, right? Yep. Hey David, tell me. Um, about any trouble with the platform is with another guy, right? Well, or... it depends. Uh, it depends. Okay. If you cannot access the platform, then it's technical support. If you have issues with the answers, then that's that's with me. Yes, I I was trying to do the. The first exercise, the 1.2. Show me. But can I share the screen? Yes, yes, please. Okay. I'm trying right now with that, but. This is right. Let's read the instructions. Do we have another picture? This one. Uh huh. Now, now hold on, right? It says, read the comments from the customers in a restaurant. You may write your sentences in past part, with past participle or with nouns. Use forms of the word in parentheses, okay? This tablecloth isn't very clean. It is stained, okay? This yes. one is leaked. That is incorrect. That, that is not the answer. Should be. <laughs> All right, that's up to you to the side, okay? That's not the platform, that is you, okay? So you need to study what you should be using there. Are you sure you should be using a past participle or a present or now. participle? Okay. Okay. Uh, you got it? All right, very good. Yes or no? Okay. Present participle is ing, right? Yes. So okay. this one is leaking. Okay. Right. Very good. Very good. Thank you. All right. Very good. Try to try to use a period at the end. After. Okay. All right. Uh, try to use the pronoun it. It is. Yes. Let's see if that works. Okay. Hold on. Which one is it? Two point what? One point two. Oh, is the first one one point two? Yes. We, all right. We saw those ones last week. Hold on. 
Hold on. All right. Uh, have you tried using a noun? Like, has the leak? Yes, has a leak. Yes. Leak. With a period at the end. Period. There okay. Go. All right. Very good. Yeah. All right. Very but good. the other ones were good too, right? I don't know. You tried them. It should say the wood, you know. <laughs> Right. No, no, I mean the the other options you gave me. Which other they options? They were good, but like if leaking. Well, what do you think number three is? Has a scratch. Stretch. No. All right, try right. I mean, has a scratch too. The wood has a scratch too. If scratched. You can say has scratches or is scratched, right? Anyway, so continue like that, okay? Okay, we need thank to, you. We need to leave now. Thank you. Yes. All right. All right, guys. So let's take a look at those answers real quick okay before we leave all right number one guys what's the answer for number one my computer's driving me crazy it it keeps freezing freezing it you can say it keeps freezing right very good you could also say well actually it keeps freezing makes more sense okay all right very good number two guys uh the buttons on the remote control always stick they Keep jamming. jamming. They keep jamming, right? We're good. All right, Travation. That's jamming, guys, if you didn't know. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, that you see the player often jumps to another song. Eat. Keeps skipping. Skipping. Keeps skipping. Where is skipping, guys? It's not option. What? Uh -huh. It's not option. <laughs> is that an option okay right uh -huh. I, I forgot to take a screenshot of that okay very good all right number four what's number four I will keeps, use there, keeps, keeps breaking, breaking down keeps breaking down okay very good all right number five those old cell phones never work right anymore they keeps going dead Keeps going keep dead. Jamming. Keeps going keep, dead, right? Keep, 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 they keep what? Now these, keep, these cannot. Keep on, the first, the first. Keep going there, dead. Okay, very good. I was gonna say you cannot say keeps because it is not third person, right? Number six. No. What's number six? Keeps breaking down. Keeps breaking down. Very good. Keeps breaking down, right? Number seven. My computer screen needs to be replaced. It keeps freezing. freezing. Keeps freezing. Okay. All right. The answer machine never picks up any calls. It keeps it going wants. dead. Keeps going dead. Not dear, guys. Dead. Okay. Dead. Right. And that's it, guys. Okay. We didn't have time for the last practice, but that's it. Okay. So, anyways, so did you learn something new today? Yes, maybe a little bit. All right, yes. very good, guys. Okay, all right. The objective, guys, is to get drunk with information. Okay, you have to you have to get drunk with a lot of information, right? With a lot of knowledge, right? So, um, thank you guys for coming today. Please join early tomorrow, guys. All right, and uh, take care, guys. All right, bye bye. Bye bye. See you guys work on the platform. Okay.